pedal demo time. Is it a tone talk or a pedal demo? Tone talk and pedal demo, basically. Pedal talk. Huh? Pedal talk. So what do we have here? It says Max on. That's right, we have the Max on um, Pack 9 is what they call it. Pack 9. Chorus. Chorus pedal. Should you buy it? It Should looks like your it? other pedal. Yeah, I like Max on pedals. I find them to be very well made. Why do you like Maxon pedals? Because they're made well, and they sound good. Somebody over there actually has an ear. So you like their tone? Yeah. Now, they make three different, four different chorus pedals. So, you know, I'll try to do the best pedal demo I can in, in, in reference. So, their other pedals are basically like original old style chorus pedals, okay? You can distort them with almost a Strat, let alone a Les Paul or something. Okay, this thing is different. This thing, they call it a, a voltage doubler, which runs at, I'm, I, you, that would make you guess it's 18 volts, but who knows? I mean, because it's internal. I mean, this thing might be running as high as 20, 24 volts, who knows? But you can, you know it when you play it. It's very deep, it's very powerful. Um, you can hit it hard with distortion boxes and stuff. A guitar will not distort it. Heavy gain will not distort the chorus itself. It's, it's a, it's, it does what it says, you know, and, and the tone of it is, is very good, you know. I mean, it's pretty good. sound which would be a quarter of the way up here and half the way up here um, if you start running the width up the pedal gets weird I mean like anything <laughs> Speed up. Okay, so I'm going to turn that speed up, right? To about three quarters. And what does it sound like? something, right? same on the strings. Thank you. 
the gain master hitting it, which is, is putting a lot of voltage at it, and it's not distorting the coil itself. <laughs> go there's two switches on it a switch here and a switch here I'm going back to completely clean now okay so nothing's on but the chorus and the amps and this you know max on delay okay <laughs> switch okay this thing because it's voltage doubled it's got a lot of depth a lot of throaty you know clean punch to it which is really nice so if you want to make it sound like an older chorus but without it being distorted because this thing isn't going to distort and then you throw that bright switch on and it trims a lot of the low end out okay I prefer the low end because if it has it why not so here's the bright switch on. See, it, it's it's softer, overall softer. So bright switch off. You can hear the depth come right in there. Much more lush and full. So now the other switch on it is what they call a pure switch, okay? Pure? Yeah. 
Now it's out of the pure mode now, which means, according to them, the return of the chorus, the dB is up on it, which, which is really cool. So if you shut that off onto pure, which I'll do for you right now, you'll see that it gets, again, more like an old chorus or more sounding like the 550 or a CH1 or a CH2, which is weak, but it still won't destroy, okay? So... <laughs> switch out really I call it a depth switch but they call it the pure switch I'm gonna put it on pure mode now right <laughs> this one and that one. I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Your volume is so low, but it sounds loud in the room. Right, How these amps you... have a lot of power. I know, but but one of the things that everybody loves about your amps is that you can get that bedroom volume, but... Yeah, I just turn them down even more. They go down all the way till almost off. They get what would so happen low. if you turned it all the way up? All the way up. <laughs> people, I'm sure people do that. Where they you blow, blow their the speakers. walls out in this room. Yeah. So that's what the Gain Master's for, you know, because the Gain Master can simulate the crank amp sound. What this amp would sound like from, from this beautiful clean sound here, you know. And I can get even cleaner with my volume. Right, let's get that back to chorus, right? This game master could be used, a lot of people use it like this, I don't, to just drop the level from here, you know. Oh, you notice the tone didn't change at all? I mean, it's ama this thing is amazing. The game master... Even if 
That's why the amps are so powerful, and if you're using two of them, they're even more powerful. And you know, the power is for reinforcement for all the crisp tones in the high end and, and the low end and, 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 and all those things because it's really low water jams don't they just don't don't sound good clean, especially they're, they're, they're weak. Too um, bad the gain master doesn't work with other amps. Yeah, well, that that you know, then that, that's the whole reason for it. This sounds horrible in another amp because see. You know, with this thing completely clean, the sustain in this amp is just, you know, it's just... But it's all in there. It's all in the amp. So all I need this device to do is to drive sustain. Not to ruin the sustain, but to drive. Up. And I wouldn't want to use the word distortion either, because it's very low on distortion. It's more, it's very smooth, you know. It's more of a gain device, and the gain is very low. See where the gain is? Gain is right here. Um, I don't like a lot of gain. I, I use my hands. When I want more gain than that, sure, I could turn that up, but my preference for more gain than that is to bring in the sound of germanium. Like... <laughs> Effects, I don't care how true bypass they are, they affect your tone when you shut them off. And I can get into a whole discussion on that, but you're going through something in there. You're going through that switch, and a lot of times they wrote you through these tiny traces on a circuit board before it comes out, and it does hurt your tone. Maxons hurt your tone, but very little. I find them to be some of the least offensive um, boxes off where I don't have to put them in a looper. So for a reference, what we were doing with this off, was here. I don't know whether I what else I have on now. I forget where I was, but okay, game master. <laughs> If you turn both these switches in the opposite position, it doesn't because then it gets softer like a, like a standard old fashioned. <laughs>
the sound of your delay being distorted a little bit by putting distortion in front of it instead of just the guitar blowing into pieces like a like an old boss right and and then but don't run a lot of gain you know just a little bit to simulate that sound so to me I'd rather have a clean chorus any day of the week you know this video is getting real long but I like when I do a, when I do a pedal demo I, I don't I'm not gonna just play what someone else played with chorus and go look this sounds just like um, the guitarist for Sting you know big deal I don't care I want to show you things you can do with it you know how it works with other effects um, you can drive the crap out of this now it has stereo outs and that means puts one amp 90 degrees out of phase that's good or bad it's different can you change it if you don't like it yeah I got it running right now in mono after the gain master okay and before the delay this pedal can be used to split your final signal through two amps with a 90 degree flip and phase. Now what happens, you're probably going to ask me to do it, right? Because I can do it. I can reach down and change the chords. And for a real pedal, pedal demo on this pedal, if we don't do that, we're cheating the company in this Sounds like I don't need pedal. to ask. Okay. Because <laughs> you're going to do it anyway. All right. Well, what you're going to get, okay, is... You're going to get a big separation, and this camera is a little tiny cheapo stereo camera, but it'll show you that. You're going to get a big separation between the two amps, okay? Slightly sweeter tone, but you're going to lose that wicked, twisted mid-range that this pedal does when it's forced into mono. Because chorus, if you understand how it works, it's really a face-splitting device, and if you let it do that all the way out to the end, you're letting it work properly, but if you trap it down to mono like I have it now, you get this twisted almost flange sound that you will lose when you open this up. So it depends on what you want. I like the twisted flange sound. I don't need the, the opened up stereo sound because basically you can't mic that anyway. I mean, if you, if you were to try to mic that in a stereo recording, forget it. I mean, you might as well use outboard console effects to do an effect like that. So it, to me, it's really useless other than like this big impressive spread sound when you're sitting here playing but then if you lose that killer twisted flanging mid-range out of the chorus it ain't worth it to me but I'm gonna show it to you okay and you might hear some <coughs> popping because these amps are bulletproof so I'm going to um, to just do it okay so this is the delay coming out this is just a splitter box okay it's totally passive it allows me to choose which amp or both amps okay so this is the feed to that splitter box so I'm going to eliminate the splitter box and I'm going to feed um, that's going to go out of there okay. and I'm going to feed the okay so gain master int delay delay feeding Chorus, okay? Right amp, you're gonna hear a pop now. So. Right amp, here, okay? Don't do this with your cheap amp because you could hurt your speakers and shit, okay? And then left amp into the other out, okay? And now the splitter box is eliminated and what's splitting the signal is this, and it's splitting it with its chorus with its 90 degree phasing, okay? So hold that camera so that it's like this, so you get the stereo effect.
that's no slouch either. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Did I you hear tell, that open I, I can definitely hear a difference. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I like it both ways, really. I, I just have to say that I've had this pedal now for about, what, five hours, if that. <laughs> Yeah, you've been I'm, I'm playing a, it for about five hours. I'm a fast learner. You give me a pedal, I'll, I'll dissect it really quick of what it's good for. It's stereo, final splitter sound is good. This is a good pedal. You, I what, use, do you rate, what do you rate this pedal? A 10. I use the a Maxon, Ooh, yeah, yeah. I use the Maxon um, AD9 Pro delay because I find it also, out of all the small analog delays, to kick ass on all the other ones, it has more natural tone, a better sound, it's less obtrusive when it's turned off, which to me is one of the most important things about what a pedal does is when it's totally off, you know. Um, and But I, I, I had a feeling when I read about this pedal that, it, and they don't really boast its uh, um, its virtues as well as I, I think they should because cause they're selling four different ones, you know, and they do have a little video where they go through all four. But if you watch that video, and these guys are gonna yell at me right now, but I don't care. They got them all plugged into each other. And the final one is that new cheaper one they sell, which sounds pretty much like the original 550, right? Or the CS9 or whatever they call it. But it has a buffer in it. And all the rest of them don't. And it's the last pedal, okay? So they're all getting buffered? So they're all getting, follow me here, they're all getting <laughs> buffered. It's like, so, what you know, they're all getting buffered when they're on and off. So, so it's not a true demonstration. It's not a true no. demonstration, but if you do listen to their, that little demo they have, and you put your headphones on, you'd be deaf if this one doesn't wax all the other ones. Unless you want that distortion, you know, that you get, that even a guitar will distort the earlier style chorus. But you can emulate that if you got, because this thing can take being after distortion, so you can just put a tiny bit on and make it sound like it's being distorted, right? And then when you want it clean, it stays clean even when hit hard with hard gain. And I got these amps really low. I turn this up, this thing gets even more impressive, you know. Um, I'm playing at what, what a small drum kit would allow with even Do I need to get my earplugs out? Um, Why, well, you want me to turn them up? Not really. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> it's loud enough to do. <laughs> yeah. I could, but everything in the room is just going to... I know, I can piece. already hear stuff buzzing behind me. When you so, hit a certain tone, it buzzes. Tone talk and pedal demo, you know. Uh, we talked about a lot of things besides this pedal, but it's a good pedal, If and they're not cheap. If, you, if they're going to cost you $249, you can't seem to get a bargain on it. People aren't selling a lot of them used. No, no, they, they. I don't know if it's old enough. I don't know how long this thing's been around. Number one, but number two, that Maxon is like uh, an MSRP company. I mean, it's that that price is what you're going to see everywhere. You know, I got mine from Pitbull. The guys in San Diego, they're pretty good. National City, there. National City. You know, they don't because I'm not in California anymore. They don't charge me tax and they don't charge me shipping. Um, and it's it's a two forty nine pedal. But it's worth it, and their their delay is expensive, more expensive than some of those fake Echoplex delays that sound like garbage. Um, but it's worth it. It's worth the money. Their pedals are worth the money. So as far as this video being a pedal demo is concerned, I have no affiliation with these guys whatsoever. I build ten ends. I'm into tone. I've been, you know, I build my own pedals and stuff. But I'm not. I'm not going to waste my time building choruses. So this thing rocks. This is a good pedal. So no modifications are in its future. I'm not touching that. I'm not even putting it in a loop because I've analyzed it. I don't want to do that for you guys because you won't hear that on the camera. But I've analyzed it on off with the, pulling the cords out around it. And um, it's, it, 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 it's got a, a drop uh, on some of the mids and the highs when it's, when it's off plugged in. But because, because you, first of all, you're going through that switch that the best switch in the world is going to drop, you know. A little bit. That's when I build my pedals. These are the only pedals in the world, and that one comes with the amp. It's not really a pedal, and that one only I sell only with the amp too. But but I use the old-fashioned switch and stuff. But I use big, heavy silver wire like I use in my amps. I do everything to know that when that switch is off, and it still is going to affect it a little bit because you're going through things. You're going through a switch. True bypass means you're not buffered, okay, and it means you're not still hooked up to the circuit some way draining. But it doesn't mean, don't ever forget this, it doesn't mean it sounds the same as not having the pedal at all. That you're going through jacks, and if it's a cheap pedal, and they're using cheap jacks, okay, then there's a loss right there. 
a cheap switch, there's a loss. Uh, a lot of these guys build with that blue switch in the pedals, and that blue switch sucks. There's a black switch, I don't want to mention any names, but somebody makes a black uh, three-pole switch because you got to turn a light on and off on modern pedals. Uh, and that one has much better tone. The blue one doesn't sound very good and it fails a lot. Um, so keep that in mind if you're messing with your pedals. But, um, but true by bypass only means you're not buffered and you're not still draining off the circuit. It doesn't mean, so, so like guys like Eric Johnson, you hand them a pedal. And me, you hand me a pedal, the first thing I'm going to do before I even listen to it is listen to it off and then pass around it with the cord. And if it passes that test, then I care to listen to it because I don't want it. I don't want it here. If if it kills the tone when it's off, then I got to have this big giant thing on my board to bypass it. And then guess what? Now you're going through four cables for that one pedal, four more jacks. Right? You get where I'm going here. You lose either way. So you're better off having a pedal that just sounds okay turned off. And that's a pet peeve of mine with pedals. And this one passes the test. So, yeah, it's worth the money. Thumbs up on the Maxon Pac-9, PAC-9. Coolest demos, really, really long. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with my guitar playing. It's early in the morning, and I didn't really have a song in my head or anything. I'm just rambling. But uh, I figured I'd do a demo for these guys. So, pedal, chorus pedal tone talk. Peace out. Passes the test. Yes. Bye, y'all.